Hello, welcome to Mookie Toucan, boys. Come on in, baby. Hello, hello. Do what we didn't do is turn off the autofocus. Do we have to restart? No, no, you just go and press the, the, the lens. Just flick that bad boy off. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Good on. Come on in, man. <gasps> now, we are just going to jump in straight into it, guys. Um, straight into it. Now, not just yet. If you like the show and have watched previous shows, make sure you like this one too because it's just as good. I'm sure it's going to be just as good. Predictions. Um, look, you can tell us to shut up and fuck off if you want. Um, as always, please as do. As always, please do. Uh, look, I'm going to work on not swearing as much because I, I, I seem like I'm, I seem less intelligent. I uh, watched an episode, I think I told you. Dude, that's a hard job week. and you've managed it. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever, it's like I swore, I said fuck like 20 times in the matter of 35 seconds. And uh, I was like, Ooh! I sound like an idiot. Yeah, I was like, damn, you sound like a hick. Cool. Um, so, I'm going to not do that. Uh, it's, uh, what's what, what season are we in? It's August, by the way. Winter. Today is August the 14th. Um... Yeah. It's, yeah. All, it's still winter? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So It's a good day today. It's like yeah, beautiful day. About 20 degrees, completely sunny. Mowed the lawn. 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah. We mowed the lawn. I showed Tim off to Tim. <laughs> and uh, I wish I could put that. I, I kind of want to put my Instagram. You could do a photo. Do um, but photo. yeah, no one watches us. So no one watches us. So I feel like it's um oh, on Instagram. So I feel like it's probably just a moot point. Oh, well. Um, Someone will look back in the years to come. That's true. But what I was going to say before we go ahead mm -hmm. is that if there's anyone that is interested in helping us produce the show, there will be money involved for th those who help when we make money. Let's preface that. <laughs> it's an investment. Um, it's That's time. right. It's an investment of your time. But basically, we're looking to make like three clips per show. Um, and I'm going to keep pissing you off until you do that. Maybe someone can say, hey, stop being bums and do it yourself. Don't Which is a time. fair point. That's a fair point. But <laughs> I don't have time to do that. We only get like, you know, so... Yeah. You if understand. you help out. If, if you, you can, help out. If you can, good. If you can't. Yeah. No dramas. We're going to keep going with that. I don't know how many more episodes I'm going to say that, but maybe someone will be I'll eventually tell them to shut up. Yeah. Yeah. If you start hearing Tim's talk, just fuck off. Yeah. Um, Let's go. All right. We're straight into the news this week because, uh, fuck it. Why not? I say. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Rakes. He's fucking slurping. Is that the paper straw? Oh yeah, my I'm God. trying to avoid that sugar syrup, son. Oh, dude. Fucking disgusting. What have you got for the people at home? Uh, I've, uh, for those that are not watching, I've got a McDonald's iced latte. And I forgot to say no syrup. You mean sugar? Well, it's just like liquid sugar. Uh, so it's like that sugar syrup shit. It's like I, I, you, The camera won't be able to see, but at the bottom, oh, dude, it's fucking... you can just tell. I'm sure you guys Yeah, you know. guys can see that. It's like um, oh. it's like clear shit in the bottom. So it's just really sweet. So you, I've lifted my straw up so I don't suck it from the bottom. Ugh. Suck the gunk. Oh, disgusting. All right, well, would you want to start with TV news? Yeah. TV news? Yep. All right. Witcher, the animated thing, there's a new trailer. New one? Don't bother watching it. If you're sold, you're sold. It's just more of the same. So like a sales pitch. Once you've made the sale, fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, you don't need to see it, so that's why I'm telling you. We're both wearing shorts, which is funny. Mm. I just realised. Yeah. Um, like goes for two minutes, 15 seconds, if you guys care. Came on August 9th. I'm sold. Good to go again. Comes out August 23rd. Sweet. Dude. Taylor, me and my missus are going to watch it together because she liked Witcher... Season one, and she wants to go back and watch it again. Yeah, because of come gutter Henry Cavill, man. That's why. Oh, he's the man. I want him on the show. I really do. Somehow, ladies and gentlemen, get him on. Figure it out. Episode 18. By almost any means possible. Literally. Almost. If he needs That's right. Two, through almost. If he needs two slobbies from these dudes. Then uh, I'll get a body double. Rakes can be the authentic. <laughs> well, for body double for you being in public. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you actually doing the sloppies. That's right. Yeah. So no one yeah. knows. Then yeah. I'm like, I was here. Yeah, you couldn't have seen me. <laughs> Next one, Stranger Things season four. There was a sneak peek that came out. I need to watch that. It just goes for 30 seconds. It's short and sharp. Dude, I really want to watch it. I'm sorry to cut you off, no, no, but I need to watch. I haven't finished season two. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. Look, I really like the episodes, but when Eleven started being that weird goth bitch, 
<laughs> and was like, yeah, I'm with my friends yeah. on a bus with superpowers. Yeah. I was like, it's Chicago, so wasn't it in Chicago? Shit. Yeah, yeah. It was it, weird. That was, was that was probably one of the my most and Will's bored being, times watching the show. Yeah, and I, uh, to be clear, like same thing with like um. Wait, are you watching it now? Kind of thing. No, I, was, I watched it when it came it was coming out. Gotcha. Um, and I was like super excited for season two, and then to season two was a letdown. Mm-hmm. So I haven't persevered through that, but um, I want to. Maybe I should finish that, like literally just finish that off, and then go on to Outer Banks because I'm just I literally started Outer Banks episode one. Um, season yeah, one. Is that on Netflix? Yeah. What's that about? Because I think I saw... So, I was, it's described to me yesterday that... Well, first of all, there's titties in there. That's how I've heard. Fuck yeah. I'm sold. Yeah. Stop. I, I, was, I was sold. <laughs> um, I'm sold. No, but it's... it's. Have you... Did you watch um, Fool's Goal with Matthew McConaughey? No. It's, it's apparently along that line of like finding treasure in like the Pacific like Pacific sort of stuff. So I like think of like Miami Island, sort of like coastal Miami islands. Okay. Um, so what, what, what times is set, set in? Out like now. Okay. Like, so I, I don't know. I don't know the year, but it's like set around. 21st century. Current, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So they're, they're set in, I think Carolina. So it's like in the marshy, in the marshes of Carolina. So I don't know One how that Carolinas. I don't know. Yes. South. Well, I'd hope so because That's they're at the beach, Miami. Yeah. you know, in the bu- <laughs> I think they've both got coasts. So let's just say it's bang on in the middle of north and south. Ooh, oh, so they're crossing me. the border. Yeah, look, I don't know. Look, I don't know about uh, the, the, the uh, US uh, geography. So, yeah. It's... I would assume the one that's north is further north. Mm. That'd be my... I don't know. Anyway. anyway. But they call us upside down. True. They well, might be are. the ones upside down. We are. Think so, about it. So to be clear, that is a cool show. Uh-huh. What, I you was, just watched one watched episode? Watched the pilot. It was pretty good. Cool. Um, my mates had both guys about... Well, not guys. Like, sorry. They were not, weren't girls. Guys said they were good. It was a good show. So cool. it's like guys and girls have different opinions and shows is mm-hmm. how it works. True. Um, there is crossover, but... So like, they watched the rest of the show? About it. Yeah. So they watched season two and said it was great. Okay. So you've sold me. Um, Done. Titties. So, but going back to Stranger, Stranger things. things, season four is coming out. Yep. Um, this trailer came out on August 6th. Yep. for 30 seconds. It's released say, sometime in 2022. So mm. we don't know when. Sometime. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Wait, wait, hang on. Damn. So yeah. it's fucking 2022. zoomed in. What do you mean? Now, I don't want to know anymore because there might be a reason why it's set in 2022 because unless the season... No, three, no, no. It's not set in 2022. Sorry, it comes out in 2020. Uh, uh, Did I say set? My bad. No, I, no, you may have said release, but I, my brain went to went another to place. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Because when's yeah. it set? Like the 80s? Or? 70s, I think. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. Same time. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, next one. Another quick one. Mm. Lord of the Rings. <sighs> TV show. Wait, what? Really? Have you not heard about this? No. Okay, well, there's not much to know. Um... Is it as a letdown as The Hobbit? Uh, no, it's not out yet. Amazon's uh, doing it. Okay. Eight, around eight episodes. $500 million was spent. Big amount of coin. That's some coin. That's a lot of coin. That's uh, some baby convertible coin. Truly. To be released on September 2022. Um, mm. So the only thing that came out was there was a photo. I kind of wish you saw it. Reagan hasn't seen just behind the scenes quickly. What usually happens is I do the kind of research stuff and then I send it. We've got a Discord and I just send in the stuff this week. We race and get a chance to uh, have a squiz. Yeah. But there's a photo. It was a, it was released officially. It was a cool photo. Yeah, right. Um, An original cast? No. Oh, I'm not sure. Mm. I think them. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But um, I honestly don't really want to know that much about it. I should do it just for the show. Mm. So I can tell people, but I personally don't want to know about it. So I can go on and be like, fucking sweet. Because I've got a couple of my friends. Legit, <laughs> we just quote Lord of the Rings lines like every now and then. And I'm not the biggest fan, but these two other dudes are just Dude, the biggest fucking fan. If you want, mm-hmm. when you move in here, to be clear, Pim and I just discussed about him potentially moving in. But I'm just going to start like setting it and manifesting it. So like he will. <laughs> and then like... It become like common knowledge that he has moved in. So when you move <laughs> in I here, haven't. my parents, my parents, um, well, my dad has like the box set trilogy of the Lord of the Rings, the extended versions. Yeah, watched them. They're great. Yeah, they got those. Yeah, 
and the Hobbit. not the Hobbits, but also they are the, on the Netflix six... the extended versions. Yeah, dude, Netflix has come out with the cheese, man. Yep. It's come out with the fucking old English cheddar. Yeah. There's so much. There's so much like great stuff on Netflix right now. They've like dropped the gauntlet. Like what? Oh, like just like so many goods, like so many goldens. Like they got like the Harry Outer Potter. Banks, the one with the titties. They got one with the titties. That's good. They got like and all the originals. But I'm saying like you know I'll, I'll show my playlist right now. Like like it's it's pretty good. Like and I'm what movies good. shows? Movies, man. Movies like oh, know. real quick. Did you? Uh, there was that playable. Um, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Um, it was meant to be a horror. You know what I'm saying? Black Mirror? Black Mirror. Yeah. Did you ever do that? Yeah, I did. I never did it. Do you want to do it? Yeah. yeah do it tonight. Do it. I'm coming back here tonight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm excited. How long does it go for? About oh, an hour? I think I heard it was like an hour and a half. Off. Yeah, but you can go back and through the options and stuff like that. Okay. And I don't know. Because I heard options. it was kind of disappointing, but I was like, dude, this is, yeah, a, well, this is kind look, of a it, new <laughs> step. Well, I think it was because people were snobs, right? They were like, oh, we expect Black Mirror to have very like important messages to send and stuff like that. True. And it's, it's like, well, that's hard to do it when you're doing like a bloody Multiple choice Goosebumps kind of book sort of style right. shit <laughs> when you like choose your own adventure. They yeah. can't, you know, and they did a pretty good job. And I think it's just more like, I think the moral of the story or the message of the story is, you know, your, your true decisions have outcomes that you would not expect. And that the outcomes themselves, and you would kind of experience this, the outcomes themselves aren't necessarily like the, 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 like, it's, it's kind of cool because you, like, you can do it, like, you can redo a step and you can rechoose it. So it kind of guides you through like a narrative. Gotcha. But you can like change your step and go, okay, now I want to do this. You but if you've, re- yeah. But it's funny because like, if you do do that, sometimes it will make you do like, that that step won't be the same as if you chose that 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 choice the first time. Right. Because gotcha. it's like so it's like oh you're fucked up you can't go back so you have to like so do it. you can try and go back but it doesn't. So it's like a third do. option. Gotcha. Yeah, and then I wonder someone's probably crunched the numbers on how many. Yeah, I don't know how many endings or how many like scenarios there are per thing, but like it, it's like a tree, so it branches Butterfly out. Like a, it's kind of like thing. a binary tree, so it branches out lots. Gotcha. Um, but then there's like other stuff where it's like. It's you know the outcome of this story isn't from the decision you made right now. It's like from like seven steps ago. Gotcha. So for for me, I'm like that's cool. That's cool like thing. But mm-hmm. I kind of hope it has told some people and taught some people like you know you can't Actions, you can't think atomically in like life. You have to think about. I mean, this is me because I'm got the, I'm autismo, so mm-hmm. maybe that's why I think about it. But it's like we just need to get for the average crown. Joe who's not switched on. When I say not switched on, like we we talk about who's not woken up or hasn't thought about like becoming an individual that is kind of coasting through life. Mm-hmm. Not might not be because they haven't got mental capacity, and we've had this discussion on the show. But it's like, you know, just just in general, the fact like people that coast and aren't turned on or mm-hmm. switched on, mm-hmm. um, they might like. Hopefully, some people woke up and said, "Oh shit!" Like this is this happened. might have been the catalyst kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. some people find, you know, a catalyst in very weird ways. You know yeah. what I mean? Some people yeah. are like, you know, my mum just got into a car crash, almost died, and you're like, oh shit, you know, mortality's a real mm. thing, clock on. Yeah. Um, you know. So, going Sorry, back to the list, list my man, and I got a hard on for this shit, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking ha- happy. I'm trying to see I- it. I'm going to get the list, right? No, I'll, 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 you... Is this your list on my list? No, like, like your my list, list that just... I've added, and like, I don't watch movies and stuff too much, and this will change when Tim moves in. Uh huh. We'll have like movies all the time, mate. Be watching shit. <laughs> Switch on. Um, Go on. So Arrival is on. Is now on. Ex great Machina. Great movie. Great Ex movie. Ma- like I've been watching. I wanted to watch Ex Machina for so long. Have you not watched it? No. Oh, dude, that's right dude, up your alley. I am been wanting, and it's on. Moneyball's there. The Dark Knight Rises on Netflix now. Okay. Like we can watch that. The Dark Knight's on there as well. I'm pretty Joker? sure. Joker. Yeah, the Dark Knight. Oh wait. The oh, Dark. The yeah. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is Rises on is on there. And the jo- Joker. Is on there. You got as in, in Joaquin. Yes, the Wacker. Joaquin, Joaquin Kapupi, uh, Matrix, Suits, Truman Show. Uh, there's like, so like a popular Netflix. Yeah, I saw All Matrix the animes now, anime now, animes now are on there, in dub and sub. But the, like the list is quite short. But whatever. Um, the Office is on there. You've got American normal British. Django. One of my favorite movies. Is there. I think a lot of the Quentin Tarantino's are now on there. I'm fucking so happy. Is he in, in real Glorious quick, Bastards? Is he is he retired? He was talking about retiring. 
about two three months ago, and he was he was talking about it, and someone said he, he, he said he was doing the last movie, and I think it was Bill Ma or Bill Mayer, whatever you call him. Mm. Um, he was just like, quit being a bitch, don't quit, kind of thing. Um, like he was really pushing him on in the show, and he was just like, yeah, but think about how many prof- like how many great directors just did a few too many, and he's like, I want to quit. On. At the top of my game, and I remember a Hugh Jackman um, interview. He was just saying, someone gave I forget who it was, but gave him advice saying, "You don't want to quit at an empty gas. You you don't want to at an empty tank. You want to still have some in the let some still st- still some gas in the tank, and then you want to quit. You don't want to be burnt out. You don't want to have none. Quit when you're good, and you're good to go. And at least with Hugh Jackman with Logan." Dude, Logan. Bro, I that was sent one of the few me. movies I actually teared up. Yeah, and, we and shed a tear. In we watched that cinema. together, and we we did tear up, and that was fucking insane. Like, great fucking movie. Dude, we we did the crying. Um, and, and it's kind of like it's only because like, not only is this 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 arc of Wolverine, I'm gonna fucking cry doing saying this. Mm. Like, it's it's emotional, but it's like twenty. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. Yeah, you cannot, and I don't give a shit. In my lifetime, you cannot, and I don't want to be like a boomer, like, yeah, this is the man. It's like, he is Wolverine. Right. You can't change that idea. Like, you can't change that, like, how can you undo Good that? Good luck to the next person. But also, yeah. think about how anal some of the comic book fans are and all do credit. But I don't hear too many of them going like, Hugh Jackman's six foot two and Wolverine's meant to be five foot four. Yeah, Wolverine's supposed to be tiny. Yeah, he's meant to be a yeah. midget. Um, yeah. But he's, yeah, Hugh Jackman's like 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, yeah. And I don't hear many people being like, he's too fucking tall, blah, blah. They're like, you know what? Mm. He's another I'll allow person. this fucking Australian. That needs <laughs> to be on to be this Canadian. show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get him on. Get him on. But like, it's he is Wolverine. He's and done I- some shit movies. Yeah. Not his fault though. He yeah. did what he could. Yeah. I mean, He's Origins, a great actor. Poop. Yeah. Um, some of them, some of the X Men's garbage, but who cares? Yeah. I mean, he did a good job with what yeah. he had. Um, well, I think I think Marvel and X Men had a fucking identity crisis for a while there. Well, yeah, because for those Fox that don't know, and... for those that don't know, Marvel back in the nineties was about to go bankrupt. Mm. So they sold a lot of their IP and their their kind of assets. Anyway, some here bought some, some here bought some. Blah blah blah. Anyway, throughout now since Iron Man one. And since they've been making money, they've been slowly getting them back. For those that don't know, that like that's why the Sony, Sony own um, uh, Spider Man, and that's why they always had a bit of contention. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so Sony always like leased so and so to thing and I think and Fox, Fox own Hulk, which is why Hulk can't have his standalone, but he's allowed to be in with a combined thing because that's how the contract was written. Fox own, I think. Ye- uh, Fantastic X-Men. Four and X Men and X Men. So anyway, it's uh, Marvel slowly getting them back. I think they just got Spider-Man as in Marvel back. Dis- Disney. Yeah, yeah, um, as like that that yeah. superpower. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Disney got them three, four years ago, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, go on. What's more good? Like, ones? there's heaps of stuff, man. You got like Venom. These are like all the things I need that, to watch that. Dude, you need to. It's it's so good. John Wick's on there now. Big Lebowski's on there. Truman Show, like I have not watched the Big Lebowski. Neither have I, but it's I've heard like it's heard it's good. I like that meme. It's like I'm the only one in it. <laughs> what is that in there? Yeah, the one with the gun. Um, Saving Private <laughs> Ryan. Good um, movie. Like lots of stand up. You've got like um like a is zomb- Dave Chappelle on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, oh, he yeah. is. I was gonna say Bo Burnham's on there as well. Um, some Patrice O'Neill, please. M- oh. He's funny. Dude, he is fucking hilarious. I uh, listen to some of his radio shows with Opie and Anthony. Still cracks me yeah. the fuck up, dude. You got the um, like a lot of Leo movies, like Leonardo DiCaprio. So you can like... I heard it. he had Blood Diamond came out. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Wow. Um, and I've heard it's pretty fucking good. Oh, uh, you got Man of Steel in there now. What the hell? Yep. That's yeah, been on there yeah, for a yeah. few months. Fucking... I love that movie, by the way. People are divided on it. Big, big, big fan of that. It's good. It's a um, good soundtrack. Good score. You got, like, and you got TV shows, Hot Fuzz, you know... Bloody oh, yeah. prison break. Like you got lots of stuff on there. Um They're doing well. Yeah, and I'm like and like Spider Man into the Spider Verse. I haven't seen that yet, but that's oh, really I good. I watched that the other week. Yeah, it was good. Fucking great, dude. So I th- I saw a comment on I think one of the clips, a clip popped up on my YouTube and it was like it was such a good comment. It was mm. oh, I'm gonna it doesn't really matter exactly. Exactly. but it was just like that's a good movie. Mm. Um it was something along the lines of any shot, any frame throughout this movie could be a wallpaper. And I'm like, dude, that's like 
75 80 percent right what, like you, spider-man into the spider-verse yeah dude i was like the the you know the artists and that a bit fantastic man. dude fucking great mm. still not a big fan of that um post malone song sunflower yeah that everyone was, was hyping that up and when, nah, when that it was came better out, than went, jackie chan jackie chan the Did tiesto post malone was like do it jackie chan like it's fucking oh i'm a big fan of post malone like to be clear i would love to like yeah. meet him and have a chat with him yeah um dude i was with that guy before hollywood has broken him man yeah yeah mm. you were saying that yeah yeah i mean we, we've been following him for years, years. now. like i was tempted to actually dress up as him yeah i reckon i could have got away with it yeah if uh, you put some this was before he had the barb tats on his forehead yeah. Um, this was like three. Well, years when, ago. when we like, well, I, 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 I fell in love quickly with the White Iverson. And what made me double down is when like he had he had an interview with Charlemagne, and I don't really like Charlemagne. He just doesn't seem like a guy with principles. Mm-hmm. Charlemagne the God. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, basically, it was just like abusing the shit out of Post Malone. He does the same thing. He did the same thing with um, uh, not Tribute Raid. Um, oh, he's such a nice guy. Who's the name? Um. X? No, he did um, Ice Spy with... Oh! Um, I, why is it Travis blanking? Travis Scott, no. no. Um, <laughs> Travis Scott, dude, cockroach man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, um, no. Um, oh, I know who you're talking about. Go on. Yeah, like he just... he just abused, Little Yachty. Little Yachty, yeah. They, is that the one you were thinking yeah, of? Yeah, yeah. Like they abuse the shit out of him. Like these guys, like... Uh, look... But that's the game. That's how they kind of get... Yeah, but it's not the game, though. It's like, you're a person... I don't, I don't know what Charlemagne's credit is. I thought he's just a radio host. So it's like, imagine like Kyle from Kyle and Jackie Yo just like ripping on someone. It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You're a talentless B-grade fucking radio host. B's a fucking... B's a reach. Yeah. But you're like a B-grade radio host pulling on someone who's like got fans. And yeah. like, even if they're like 12-year-old girls or 12-year-old boys... You're just jealous. Mm. You're a low vibrant, like fucking, like a vibration person. Like, just get out of here. And the reason why the artist has gone on your show is to get like... Because the manager cause, booked it. Because the manager booked it or the studio record owns the show or whatever. So yeah. then you have to do it through your contract. You know, you have to like do a tour or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like, man, I, I it, look, Hollywood, I think has broken a few of them. And you can see like clearly, not to say Post Malone has a shit life or whatever, mm-hmm. but... I'm sure he would love to like check out, but he's got too many. And the thing is, now you got like too many people. You got you got your own crew, your friends, whatever. Like dependent on you. And the same thing happens with like um you know NFL stars or you know like footballers. Like they live this high life, but you got so many people like riding on your success. Yeah. Um. Some people. And a lot of them just burn that cash. Yeah, because they got all these. They got like twenty friends. They're like, yeah, man. Like let's fucking do it. But also, I think a lot of them just don't think about it. They kind of just go, well, yeah. well, I'm going to be making this forever is kind of the passive yeah. thought in the back of your head. And then eventually that salary or that contract is mm. half. And then two years later, half that. And then a year after that, you're done. Yeah. Which you know is what, I mean? what we need to work on. We've got to, we got to work on. Which we'll get to later. Once our money halves on. Once our. Half a zero is half a zero. <laughs> you mean doubles. Oh yeah. Or triples. Um, or just adds on to the end. All right. Next, next bit of news. Um, we're going to go with the movie one because... Go for it, baby. It's quick and short. Chronicle 2. Oh, it's, 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 really? It's now in production. Really? Fox has it officially being developed. Dude! Um, not much known. Question I have... Michael B. Jordan, is he going to be in there? He's dead. He died in the movie. Oh, yeah. Spo- I've got to watch that again, I son. I liked it. Um, that was... The question is, is my... it my footage? I don't know. I think that period's done, don't you reckon? I think it is. I'm not against it. I kind of liked it. No, I think it'll be found footage. It has to be. I don't know. They, Unless they think spin about it, they it and they, they, they like have a... St- Do you remember that monster movie that was found footage? Uh, that now... Silent that, Hill? Uh, no. Um, you know what I'm talking about? The... Clo- you got Clover Cloverfield was one that was the found footage one. Miller. Those se- they had they had three two sequels and they weren't found footage. I think it's done. I think that kind of it was a very niche thing. Dude, Chronicle I liked it. was one of like is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it's sick. It is so good. Well, sequel, nothing really known. 
But it's coming. It's oh. officially in development, I think. Dude, Michael B. Jordan, man. I re- that's another guy. They could just... they Honestly, what they could just do is they could go, wow, we found more... If they're going to do found footage or something, they could just go, oh, we found more footage of Michael B. Jordan or something and go, ah, in these months that passed, it's this pretty, happened or something. It's pretty sick know. when he's like building the Lego with his hand. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, and then he fucking... Dude, sk- that was spider. one movie that I, haven't I watched that in wanted years. to like have a sequel. Yeah. I was like, I was bummed that it was no sequel. The ending was kind of cool as well. It was like... Very peaceful. Mm. It was like you know, the remember the mountain, and uh, he, he goes, like, he goes back and he filmed it, and he went, look, I said we were going to get to the bet. mountain, yeah, yeah, and then they got there. It was good movie, good movie. I thought, and it was one of those few teenage ones that was actually good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I don't know if they were teenagers, maybe yeah, high school, yeah, it's early like the, college or something like yeah. that. But it was, um, I thought they actually did quite well because that's exactly what would happen. It was kind of like a mass shooter going to be. Type guy getting abused by his dad and blah blah blah, and then um, you know some guy doing well and another guy whatever. Um, I thought it was good. Yeah, like, this is what would happen if you so you got superpowers. You'd be like, dude, I'm so happy you told me that. That's the best. The best day, day's news. gotten better, man. Day's gotten even better. It's a good day. It's yeah. gotten better. And then hopefully today I promote to silver, silver four <laughs> in, in league. league. Dude, I've been hard stuck, but that's not important. We don't need to touch about that. I, I'm d- deeply upset about that. But good transition into video games. Hang on. Go ahead. I was going to talk about that, and this is why we did this show, this part first. We need to get it out because um, we, we get the passion out. For, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. No, what I was going to say is I love that movie just because, and I hate to be that English teacher in the room. You know what I mean? But like, for me, it's like that movie is a great demonstration of power. Like <laughs> corrupted a, people. Like teacher. it's one of those things. It's like it's a. a a conduit, not a conduit, but it's like an enhancer for your true self. Mm-hmm. It's like that person was going to be a school shooter, yep. but they didn't have power. Yeah, it was like the Winter Soldier. Yeah. The, the show. With, yeah, um, it enhances your... Your character. Like in- Steve Rogers, that was the whole thing with um, Captain America 1. You know, that's why he didn't just pick a good soldier. It was like the, your character, good becomes great, bad becomes worse. So like your, your defining features are enhanced is what, what I think what it was. So um, that's why Red Skull became a uh, red-headed, literally, Red Skulled, yeah, Nazi. Yeah, I never understood how the hell he became a Red Skull because like, they didn't they didn't finish it. It wasn't perfect. It, the, the serum wasn't perfected, and it was just like so he wanted to flesh, do it. And yeah, so. yeah, yeah. but but there's like an enhancement of your power. So I was gonna say like if you you know for example that it was cool because like it, it's just power. Like if you just like make it like a story, it's like this is just a story about power. It's like that could be money, could be influence politics or whatever Mm -hmm. like these people were enhanced through power and like the person that you know was fucked up by society Mm -hmm. became like a villain because his power grew Mm -hmm. and And now he could do something about it and he felt powerless and now he's like yeah it was good Oh, dude, the scene with oh man, the scene with like, the gas mask, and he's like putting the money in the bag, and he's like the money's like pff, pff, like it's like flying oh, into I the bag. It. You need to watch it; it's yeah. fucking awesome, man. Yeah. But yeah, sorry, I let let's let's go into games. Back in the, only one thing, last bit of news, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing really flash. Uh, I thought it was flash, but nothing new. If you've been listening to the previous episodes, Battlefield twenty forty two. Yep. Just uh, there was a short film. It was a nine-minute uh, little cinematic. Uh, it seemed to be about the campaign. Looks solid. Uh, looks cool as fuck. Uh, yeah, not gameplay, just a cinematic. It's pretty cool. I think you should watch it. Yep. I actually don't mind Battlefield campaigns because they tend to be short. They're kind of like five hours, you're fucking done, and then you just clock mm. on to um, multiplayer. I don't know. I, I'm the kind of guy that back on the Xbox 360... I had to finish my achievements before I had to finish the campaign at least once before I could go to multiplayer. Yeah, that, that was just that like was a, a rule. That was a rule. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's what I had to do. For my, and a lot of people were like, dude, I didn't even bother. And I'm like, you have missed out, especially if you missed out on like the Modern Warfare campaigns. <sighs> Ghost is still alive. I still believe it. Anyway, dude, Ghost is still alive. Done. He got shot, right? And Gaz, the whole theory, Gaz is still alive. The whole, well, the, the whole theory was that Gaz was Ghost. Um, that he was ghost, but um, mm. ghost. Remember, if you remember, I went and oh, I can't believe this. He in one of the missions before Shepard had his way with him. Um, he has he asks, why do we have to wear these fireproof vests? Anyway, and where he got shot, you know, he got shot like here, and it came out in his back, like it wasn't in his heart. He could have lived, kind of thing. So anyway, that was the whole theory. 
we never know, never knew if he died, kind of thing. So there's a big question mark, which is why when Call of Duty Ghosts came out, um, everyone was like, "Fuck, it's so true." Because for years that was the like the theory, mm. like he hadn't died. Anyway, so I think I I was actually thinking about this the other night. I do not want them to release Modern Warfare Two remastered multiplayer because they did the campaign. I don't want them to do multiplayer because I'm like, let it be, just leave it. It's good. Um, you know what I mean? When you kind of touch back on what you've already treaded on in a good way, um, yeah, hide that ass, bro. Um, thickness. Sickness for the thickness. And You know what I mean? Like, just leave it alone. I'm like, it was good. And I feel like what I really loved about Modern Warfare 2 was it was a damn decent game. And mm. the public lobbies, at least for a lot of us that were kind of young you know, teenagers at the time, it was like classic. Mod 2, for me, was the game where everyone just shit talked. Like, Dude. whoever had the deepest voice ruled the lobby, and he was and he was fucking your mum. Like, Dude. It, was, it was as simple as that. Shut the fuck up, you little fag. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just this dude that's like 18. No! Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> right. I've did your mom <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Dude, and it's like... It's like and then, because you used to play with, like, Americans and Canadians, and it's like, the internet... Was shit. Yeah, yeah. but it's like, oh, You just dude. were playing with everyone. Man, I need that. Uh, I, look, if but I... But if they released it, my point is, it wouldn't be the same. No, it has to be. There wouldn't be no, that it has much to be. shit to No, it's a rule. Like, you, you, it needs to be a mandate. It's like, get your shit headset on, yeah. no Discord, public lobby. Yeah. Just fucking flail like, each other with this insult. In fairness, with Modern Warfare, that did happen a bit. Um, especially when you were playing, um, like, Shipment, for those out there. Oh, those, those yeah, the small yeah. Everyone just shooting fucking shotguns and RPGs. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, <laughs> everyone, you everyone at the end of the game, it was just a fucking... Fiesta, everyone's just like, you're a fucking faggot, you fucking go kill yourself and all this shit, and you're like, Jesus fucking Christ, everyone's just yelling. Yeah, hey, dude. It's such a good game, dude. Man, man, I, 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 I can't lie, this is what, PC doesn't have that same level, but... I agree, there's I something need, about it. I need, like, for my, I think for my, for my psyche, but I really want to go back to that time. Mm-hmm. Like, if I had, like, a different... I just really, really like that time, just like... Playing COD on like a summer's day, with sweating boys. with no shirt on, yep, and just killing literally kids. jocks, killing and kids, sweating. and then people just fucking Flaming. being so angry when you kill them, yep. just like oh fuck off, yeah, it's the best. Nuke boosting, good times, good times. Dude, anyway, especially on Rust, man, dude. I still play on PC every now and then. Every like yeah, yeah. six months, I just fire it up on Steam, and there's always a lobby going. I want to get. I was actually gonna buy. Do not the buy. whole oh, yeah. set of COD games for like six hundred bucks. Now, now to be clear, when you move in, we could, we could, uh-huh. right, make a stream channel. And this is what I've always said to the guys for the Hard Start crew. It's like we should all make contribute to the one channel or like stream on one channel. So oh yeah, your old mate streams on Fridays. I stream on Thursdays, whatever. And it's like if you don't like me, don't watch me. But you can watch Tim on whatever day. Mm-hmm. And that way, like I don't care about money. If like I'm not gonna argue over fifty dollars and be like, oh, I want all fifty dollars. Like no. This is when uh, my internet was really bad and I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. So like you know, we do you do the stream, and you could do like you know you, you could do. Like, but we could like stream the campaign of all CODs as like a series mm-hmm. and you can do it on Xbox one and you can do co-op split screen. And I've got every single COD to be clear on you my do? Xbox. Yep. On Xbox one. Yep. And you can stream it using the mini uh, stream deck. Isn't it weird that Xbox one is now last gen? Like my mind still Shh. thinks last gen was 360. Stop that. Stop that. I'm going to stop you there. Yeah. It's making you think I'm old. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember like the when you turn the Xbox on and it says, Boing! Mm-hmm. and then like the Xbox thing. Yeah, yeah I did the. Yeah, it was sick. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, did you watch anything this week? Because I watched two movies: Black Widow and Suicide Squad. Did you watch Black Widow? Yeah. I'm still waiting for it to be free. Yeah, I know. I was gonna watch it and then I was like, "Fuck!" Because it's been out in the just wait another month and it'll be free. I guess. Um, I think it's October. In October? Mm. Okay. 
Um, because it's been out in the cinemas for about a month and a half. Has it been in the cinemas? Yeah. I thought it wasn't in the cinemas. No, it is. Yeah, I watched it last Friday. Oh. It's all right. Pretty good. I'd give it a six. Yeah. Six and a half, seven out of ten. It's pretty good. I'm glad she has her own thing, because, like, she's kind of interesting and cool. I know, but I remember back in the day, like, after Iron Man two or three came out there was a lot of people talking about dude she should have her own movie like this was before infinity war and she kind of cut her hair and became a little bit more human she was just like before that she was kind of a badass and she just fucking got around it you know what i mean she was just anyway there was a good movie yeah i was thinking about iron man 2 uh how she boxed on no kevin foggy the director of iron man 2 uh, Made a scene, and I don't know if he made it, yeah. <laughs> but he, the director of Iron Man 2, yeah. Kevin Feige, <laughs> what a chad. He made a scene in Iron Man 2 mm-hmm. where he fought um, Scarlett Johansson in a boxing match, and then, like, she, like... No, that's not Kevin Feige. That's, not Kevin um, Feige. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. The director still, but... Um... Uh, it's not Kevin Feige. Um... He Come was, on, he he's was, great. Happy. Happy. Um, um, I'll get his name up. But he directed uh, Iron Man 1 as well. Uh, jo- John, John Favreau? Yeah, John Favreau. Favreau. Let me just double he, check. He, so John Favreau, he uh, directed Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and yep, John a Favreau. couple others, I think. I think he might have done... He, he directed a maybe few. Maybe like a Captain Marvel or something. Yeah, so he, he directed a couple. And then there's a scene where Happy, uh, basically he was like... He wasn't, he was like, um, he was like, uh, Iron Man's bodyguard, but then became Iron Man's driver, then became like Iron Man's, like, he became like the, like a manager of, the, of, of Stark Industries. Anyway, the actual person, the director, John Favreau, made a scene in Spider-Man Iron Man Homecoming. Yeah. He did oh, wow. Iron Man 3, Iron Man 1. He's been Man. an executive producer for all of them, though. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Director? He did Daredevil director? 2003. Yeah. Um, he did the Avengers. He did uh, Endgame, and he's done a bunch of uh, he's done Mando as well, Mandalorian. Uh, he's done Infinity War. He done Age director? of Ultron. Yeah, he must this producer is, or director. Oh, this is I've just looked up director. Anyway, I think he's done the Iron Man's, and I think he might have done the Spider Man's. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so to be clear, fun he, fact about Iron Man One: there wasn't really a script. They just no, kinda, they just no, they just got Downey Jr. It was like okay, like because Downey Jr. was coming off of like a. Bad time. Yeah, so it was like... He was in jail and in prison. Dude, Sherlock Holmes, beautiful, big fan. Completely agree. Yeah. And I still like the second one. Wasn't as good as the first, but... I like the second one. Yeah. He got shit on a bit, kind of justified. Yeah. Anyway. It was, it, I think it was... Well, you were saying the over. scene, there was a boxing scene. Anyway, so so John Favreau, director of the movie, I was like, okay, I'm going to box... This hot babe. Scarlett Johansson. Is, is it Johansson or Johansson? I assume it's Johansson. Um, yeah, because yeah, it's more... Because like, she's probably Swedish or Norwegian or Norwegian, or Norwegian yeah, yeah. Um, but everyone calls her Johansson, but I'm sure it's Johansson. Yeah, Johansson. Johansson. Um, anyway. <laughs> like a fucking German. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Got him. Um, but yeah, he there's like a, she like grabs her legs around his head and like boxes him. So it's like, it's just funny because like, it's like, I'm the director. You're going to... Beat me up. Beat me up, mm-hmm. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap your legs around my face. <laughs> she was... Um, I just saw a TikTok. She, she, she so was hard. young when she started. She was like 22 in like Iron Man 2 when she first appeared. You know what I mean? So that's like 2009, 2010. So yeah. I really want to... I just want to do... Act, Something like I that. I want to do... So... <laughs> I want to do acting and then just It's like, harder than you think. No, no, I just want to do act. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. Like, my, For those that don't know, I used to act. I want to do Not like, I want to do like acting. I would love to just be picked like typecast for a role and not audition. It's like, no, you're like my buddy is a director. Oh, we need this. Oh, got it's that. like, you're in there. Like, it's like Adam Sandler. Like Adam Sandler's a great guy mm-hmm. from all I've, all accounts I've heard about Adam Sandler. He's a great guy, but he, like, he doesn't get high paying actors. He just gets his mates. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets like, yeah, yeah. like all Adam Sandler grown up dudes. Uh, all the grown up dudes basically. It's just like, oh yeah, you're, you're, you're. We had a good childhood. Yeah. Modern Warfare 2, grown ups. That's all you need. 
That yeah. kind of shit. You know what I mean? We had fucking great movies. Yeah, I'm not going to... We had I, Elf. I mean, just good movies. Like oh, Battlefield 3. Yeah, Battlefield 3. Halo. Black Ops 2. Yeah, the Halo. I especially loved Reach. Reach was great. Childhood. But I feel like now's good. I mean, fucking Fortnite would be a game to be like in 10 years. Be like, dude, imagine, remember Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite fucking... before like 90s were being cranked was great. I think I, I, I look to be, to be clear. I was played competitively. I played it. It like literally was Flew flown to a different city, flown to a city to play the game. Didn't win. Didn't get money, but still fun. Still is fun. I can put that on the resume. Um, Oops, I just hit so, you so I'm pretty happy with that. But I think, I think now like I'm sad. Cause I don't have the time to do that. Um, which is what Tim and I were exploring, um, before downstairs. So yeah, do you, do you want to talk about that or what do you want to talk about? Because nah, don't, nah, Could, we can talk about another time on the podcast, but there's, there's thinking to be done. Yeah, I, I do agree. But I think, yeah. and I don't want to rehash it for us just, just for the sake of the audience. No, you, no, you're right. But it's not, no, it's not for the sake of the audience. I think it's the sake of you. But for me, it's like, you know, I'm, it's, I think going back to it, for example, just saying, just going, we're talking the theory of it, going back to it, it's like, it's good just because. I'm at a point in life where, you know, I don't want to be old. Like, I really would love to go to America and go to, like, college parties and, like, for, like, a year, just do that. Like, I don't, I'd, I'd, the thing, issue is, if I become 30, I'm way too old to do that. You don't want to miss, you don't you want to miss out. And I'll literally have that FOMO for the rest of my life. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I didn't go to a festival and have, I didn't go to, you know, that festival that year. I have FOMO. It's like, I've literally missed out on a part of my life. Just for everyone that doesn't know, what is FOMO? Fear of missing out. It's the acronym. So, so having that, it's like I'd love to go to like go to a college like thing, or just do somewhere. It doesn't matter. Like when people take like summer vacation, I think everyone goes. You know, take a gap year. I was like, no, because I want to get out of home. I want to like. I was set just myself about because I think what you're talking about. By the way, let me just quickly touch on so I can not look at my my paper. Suicide Squad. Oh, you haven't finished? No, that, that, that's the only thing i got to say. So, so I, I watched it uh, sometime this week. Pretty good. Yeah. It was, like so an eight. It was, it was good. Number two or one one? Number two. Fuck. The new one. Came How out. do you have time for this, man? I don't know. I, uh, Thursday. I didn't play netball. Oh, yeah. well, we, we won. We fucking, play with a Thunderbirds player. Fucking, really? She, oh, she was thinking she was like a second son, like a Thunderbirds sub or something. Gotcha. But she was fucking... Again. See, this is swearing again. Uh, she would shoot the netball from basically from like the the third line from the the shooting. Come in and get the rebounds. No, the ball would go up. I'm seeing this. The ball would go up and do a crazy backspin. It'd go up and then go forward and basically stop midair and just like go straight down. Nothing. There was nothing but net. Basically, all the time I was like, damn, Dude, she's good. Damn. damn. The damn. ball would like she'd like do it and like it literally do this. I was like, damn. Just arc back in. Yeah. Damn. It was impressive. And what was it slaughtering? It was like 20, yeah, 24, was, like 7 or it something. It was big. Yeah, big gotcha. I think it was like 12 to 2. Anyway, Suicide Squad, good. Good move. I'd actually recommend it. Black Widow, you could you could dodge it. It's pretty whatever. Suicide Squad, actually good. Um, the first one, fucking disappointing. Actually shit, I would say. I mean, that, that was like a f- fucking 4 or a 3. Had some cool moments. The, the the part in the Suicide Squad one was Slipknot at the start. I don't know why that shit just makes me crack up. Um, no, I like Suicide Squad two. Good. The first fifteen minutes, I did not really see coming. Anyway, okay, do, I, I won't say it, more but, than but that. But yeah. I, I I like Suicide. So okay, I have. I'm not. I'm not a movie critic. So if anyone wants to like send me to a premiere of your movie, I'm not gonna judge it unless it's shit. Like I'm pretty like non-critical. Sounds movies. like you're gonna crit- <laughs> critique it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's shit. Well, so it's shit. You just say nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's no, bad. No, but like, I, I, I mean, Suicide Squad one was like whack. Like I didn't know. I felt like I was on drugs. Yeah. But I did like it because it was curveball after curveball of random nonsense. Yeah, there was some and, good and editing in it as well. And you're like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Like especially with like Harley Quinn, and you got Margot Robbie just doing like random parts in a role. I'm like, I, is, you know what? What is going on? Controversial. I don't really like her. I do. As a, I just feel something odd about it. I'm like, because I know she's Australian. I think I just know this isn't her. Like, whereas if I look at Will Smith, I'm like, Will Smith's playing Deadshot. He's playing fine. Will Smith. Yeah, who's playing Will Smith. So I'm like, Will Smith is being Will Smith 
pretending to be Deadshot. He's not acting. Whereas the other people were acting. Whereas with Margot Robbie, I'm kind of the same thing as Will Smith. I'm like, I know this isn't her. And to be clear, I haven't watched many Margot Robbie things. I've just, mm. I think it's because I see a bit of my sister in her. She's Australian, whatever, won't go into it. But I'm like, I don't know. I just can't. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm like, no, I like it. I, I, I watched think... that Birds of Prey movie. I watched. Was there another one with her? I think there was maybe, and I watched that. They were both shit and forgettable, at least. Um, anyway, should we go back to your what you were saying before? Gap year. Yeah. Um, I just want to really take a gap year. So I'm 22, turning 23. Um, so and... you went straight high school, straight to uni, straight to uni, no gap straight year. to work and i've grown up and developed but i don't think i'd grow i don't think i've developed as much as i would have if i just took a gap year and had to like sort my shit like me yeah my gap, like, year, my yeah. gap years my first gap year 2017 well, what's not i think about it right so we're talking about finances are you comfortable talking about your net worth uh yeah yep okay. cool so i think i'm worth personally like liquid cash not assets but i have a lot of assets like when I say car, assets, laptop, computer, car, laptop, computer, whatever. I've got These about sixty-five grand, and I've basically and so I didn't. I worked, but worked part time through uni. Uni, so I didn't get paid much. So maybe that you can count as a dead year, whereas you may have worked more. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm working full time, getting paid. I don't want to say just because I feel I, I fear that if there's someone watching from work or something like that, I don't mind. But it's like that's there is that issue. But what do you mean? Just, I don't say it if it. But what do oh, you mean? I'm getting. I'm getting. Oh, is this because it's on, in the contract? Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm getting not as much as you'd like, and other people well, doing. Well, yeah, job. yeah. That's not. That's not that. That I don't talk about that because that's just negative energy. Um, and if I was really sad about it, I'd do something about it. You know. True. Um. I'm getting I'm getting paid under seventy, but above forty. So there's your window. <laughs> it would have been great if you're getting paid like let's just say sixty seven. You're like it's below seventy, and uh, it's above sixty six nine nine nine. Just letting you know, <laughs> and just leave it at that. We could we could leave it at that if you want. Uh, sure, whatever. Leave it at that. All right. So I said it not raised. <laughs> he didn't break the contract. Um, I don't know how much he gets paid. So I'm in the ballpark, obviously. <laughs> Somewhere about that. Six nine six nine. <laughs> um, so you liquidated. So you're saying. So so what I was, my point is, I'm saying like we, I've earned like I'm getting that paid that much. I don't know how much you're getting paid. Probably not that much. Nowhere near. Not because I'm a bowler, but that's just because I have a nine to five job and I work forty hours a week. Yep. In a pretty good area, industry. Um, but my net worth is about sixty five ish thousand. Myself, oh, then there's like... I don't so, know about your net worth. No, right. sorry, my like liquid asset. Value. So you're, when you say liquid, what shares, do you mean? My shares are worth that plus my uh, crypto plus my cash. Mm -hmm. So that's all. That's what it is. So you got 10 grand in the bank, maybe 30 grand in crypto. 10 grand in the bank, 20 in crypto. And no, then you've got like, more than 20. Yeah, but... I, but I, and this is again, taking it out. Don't worry about the taxes. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so this will I've, be worth more. I got twenty thousand, but then I got uh, like got more money in a uh, the baby convertible coin. Um, but that's like I don't look at that at all because I fear that uh, I, if, that is sort of thing where you know if you take money out, it's just gonna like, it might if you sell it all, it wouldn't be It'll worth crash. that anyway. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so but still, just for the sake of simplicity, yeah. I say I'm not. So I'm gonna say thirty there. And then, then another in thirty five in stocks. And so yeah. So I've had pretty good stuff. I bought Afterpay at three dollars, sold it, and then re bought at fifteen dollars, and then sold it recently. A bit at eighty four dollars, and a bit at like one hundred and twenty. Paid all my taxes, so that's it. Fucking hurt. <laughs> that fucking sucked. <laughs> I just like, that's uh, that that was poo, man. He, can was, I just throw out an idea? This is actually an idea I quite like. Yeah. We were talking about voting and how I was just like, I'm a fucking idiot. I shouldn't vote kind of thing. Mm. I actually think this is a good idea, which is just go until 27, people under 27 do not pay an income tax and they don't vote. You know what I mean? Just go 
And you can just, even if you don't want to make it mandatory for everyone, just make it a, a voluntary you can thing. You can tap out or tap in. Make it a, you have to tap in if you want to vote. But the basic operating is you don't get income taxed. You don't get capital gains. Now, there's obviously going to be But you're problems. not allowed to be in trusts and you're yes. not allowed to be in other things. It's and like, if I make my own wealth... Yeah. Uh, sorry, to I'm just adding on to it. I'm just passionate no, about it. You're good. If I make my own wealth, like, for example, if Meg's in a trust, then she can go pound sand. But if I'm making my own wealth, that, that you know, 1500 bucks you just took from me hurt. Yeah. I, I don't think it's... And look, to be clear, I think you can pay your own tax for your salary and income, sure. But when it comes to, like... Like uh, capital gains, sure. E yeah, it sucks. Yeah, but I'm just saying the reason why 27 is just brain development, just to put a an objective thing on it, but also just like you know, people kind of our age and millennials, we're Zoomers, but millennials as well, they complain like, oh, you know, this is hard, we're disadvantaged, blah blah blah. You know, my parents used to have one income and blah blah blah. Now there's a million reasons for why that is. We're not going to get into it. Um, damn it. We're not getting into <laughs> Do it. Do we have to? I think we no. always we we're, know. We're not getting into it. But they they they're not wrong. Parents did do that blah blah blah. Now I think just a quick solution like that isn't going to solve everything. It's not a utopia. It's not going to yeah. be a one thing. It's not a silver bullet, but I think that's a good choice and I would absolutely I'd fucking slap that button. I'd get a blister. I'd fucking yeah, get look, me out. Look, I don't want to vote. I will fucking keep all my money. And, and, to, and to be the person that, you know, has to be, um, hang on. Yeah, real quick. The obvious problems are like if your dad's a business owner and then he just goes, technically you own it kind of thing. There's obviously problems like that. And now you're in charge of a $120 million business and you don't get any, you know, there's so, obvious so things like that. But I, w I would, okay. So I would be like, all right, none up until 27. No, it's like 27, but I'm saying like there is a capital set thing. So it's like, okay, if you made 500 grand in one year mm -hmm. and you're under 27, anything above that, you're paying tax. Yeah, sure. So, it's like, so it's like... Anything. Just I, and fucking... I'm happy to run with those those they, those numbers, right? Because the amount of, amount of money you'd get from 20, 20 or 18-year-olds to 27-year-olds pe for people that are earning un, under 500,000. Well, in this state, 14. 14, three yeah, quarters yeah. when you can start working. Yeah, but I'm saying like for that number, for capital gains, I don't know how much money the government makes from capital gains, but that money would be better. I think we always talk about this, and this is one thing I do truly believe in. It's like no one person who is, like you said, like a mediocre, like any politician that is in is a mediocre option because they have to satisfy my opinion and also Tim's. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna we're gonna have to compromise in the middle somewhere, which makes it mediocre because of the median. Yeah, like strictly speaking, you're wrong, but in 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 the real like you could have a whole electorate where they all agree, but good luck actually getting yeah. that in the real world. Yeah, so you end up getting mediocre outcomes. Yeah, and also the the quali the actual stock of people going into politics. I mean, yeah. if you were truly inventive and had a really good idea, you're probably not gonna run for office. No, you know what I mean. Yeah, like that's right. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's going to be exceptions to that. Like, you're very smart and you've got a few cheeky ways to, like, you know, figure out government policy. But a lot of people that are, like, ingeniouses, they're not going to go, like, yeah, going to go in the public sector. They're going to go, I'm going to fucking fly rockets into space and land on Mars. Yeah, kind yeah. Of shit. And you then just, I mean? and just lobby, po po lobby politics to get things that I want done in the back door. Yeah. Yeah. So... And that, that that's not a conspiracy. That's like fact, right? Like, yeah, I think most people surely. You guys, if, you don't, if you guys, you're being intellectually dishonest. Like, if you don't think well, that happens, well, no, they might just not know. They might just no. But be if you deny it, like you're like sure. saying that does not happen. Well, it's yeah, like yeah. It, it, or your conspiracy theory. It's like no, that's literally how this works. Yeah. And not to say the company shouldn't do it, because that's the whole point of politics is for politicians to get things that people want done. Done. And done. They're just hearing from the people who and these people are represented by so and so, and this is, yeah. you know. And the money's represented, and it's, it's based on the money, and money's represented by people, and businesses have much more money than people, so they get much more say. Yeah. For and the, they have more power. So. Okay, real quick. You talk. I've got to piss real bad. I was going to talk about something, but I really forgot. What were you talking about before you got to that point? Um, about. Gap year, you wanted to travel? No, there's that, but you're talking, you, you, you cut into. Uh, 27 year olds um, yeah yep. 20, yep, yep so I was going to say like the capital gains that you get from like between 18 to 27 year olds would be minimal and the thing is is like you don't have like no politician can knows 
what better to do with your money than you do. Like, unless you, like, need a carer and have, like, you know, brain dis issues or whatever. Like, even someone in a wheelchair knows what's best for their money. You know what I mean? You're not going to... Like, some politician named bloody... I don't want to carry anyone, but like, you know, Larry Suman or something like that. You, he's not going to know what, what, and this is not anti-government by any means. This is pro, pro-choice and, you know, that kind of, you know, I guess that, 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 what's the, what's the word for like liberal? Is it liberal? It's like the word for like. Liberty? Well, not, it's like the, it's not, it's, an, it's not capitalist, but it's like along those lines. People who are capitalists are like, it's like. Less government's good. I want to do my libertarian. shit. Libertarian. Libertarian, I guess, yeah, libertarian. Sure. It's like a libertarian way is like, I was sort of saying, like, if you're in a wheelchair, some yeah. some fucking politician named Larry Suman is not going to know what's best for you. How are they going to... Is like, Larry Suman an actual politician? No, that's yeah. why I didn't. Um, but I'm sure... Yeah, they might be like, you should probably work on your mortgage and this dude's like, I need a new wheelchair. Mine's fucking busted. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh, no, we should put more money towards um, fixing... Uh, uh, fuck, I don't even know what we're doing. And uh, even if, let's just say, a politician does know what to do for most people, that most is still not all. And those all people, let's just say 5% of people are in a wheelchair. Mm. This dude's like, well, we're going to lower interest rates so people's mortgage is more affordable and blah, blah, blah. And this will help spending and rah, rah, rah. But this guy in the wheelchair is just like, I've got different priorities than a mortgage. You know, even yeah. if it's good intentions mm. from the poly and it does good things, there's still going to be some people, you know, you can argue about. Yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's, it's all about, blah, blah, blah. you go back into incentives, right? You always go back into incentives. So like when governments lower your in income, you might go good, but then it's like, well, is it good? Because now they've now. What do you mean lowered the income tax? Or? Tax. Okay. Yeah. Income tax. Income, or they, income, like, they, lower the, or they don't lower the income tax. They're like adjust it or they give you a higher rebate. Or in your deductible, yeah. Yeah, and you're like, why? First of all, it's for votes and for thing, but it's like, where's that money coming from? And not to say that they're printing more money, but it's like, what are you taking that out of? And it's probably going to as, be... As in, if they're lowering the income tax, then they're still spending the same amount or presumably more every year, then where is the money yeah. that is being spent coming from? Yeah, so is, gotcha. it coming, is that coming from my healthcare benefits that I no longer have? Mm. Like for example, if you're in a wheelchair and you're like, okay, I'd love to have this money, and then and they go, well, we're gonna we're gonna take that money, then we're gonna put that money into private healthcare and tell you you should get private healthcare because it's better for you mm -hmm. and easier for you to you know you know see a doctor. It's like better for your wheelchair and yeah, you have better chrome wheels. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think they're not. I th you know but what? It's about We've example. got this all wrong. This guy's got it, Larry. Larry Suman. Suman, he's on it. Yeah, like, no. You like, know what? Take all my money. But I, 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 look, I, don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just like, it, it, that's a bad example, I guess. And I kind of gave like a, I don't even know a straw man. It was like a. That was a shit argument, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's like. I know what you're saying. It's like, you don't know what to do with my money better than I do. Yep. And yes, sometimes you might manage it better than I do because I'm a simpleton average Joe. Mm hmm who spends money at the fucking pokies. But the whole thing, you're saying but, better, like sometimes they are spending it better, but it's not about, you know, better co according to who. Because you yeah. might want to spend it on ice cream and someone might want to spend it on chicken. Mm. And the guy who wants chicken, spending it on chicken is better than the guy who wants chicken, spending it on ice cream. And the guy who wants ice cream doesn't want to buy a chicken. Oh, yeah, you know like, what I mean? Yeah, so who yeah. better according to who? Some people are going to say, you know, I don't want a house. Mm. I just want an RV. I just want a camper van and I'll travel around Australia for the next 10 years. I don't want to worry about any of this. So it's like good according to who, better according to who. It's all pretty subjective. So it's like, yeah. So it's like, Even you know, if there is some objective parts of it. I mean, for example, and this is to say it, but it's like, okay, you've got, we put money into education. Good, good, the, the good that our you know government puts money in education. I like books. But they put less. They put more money into private school education per student than they do for public schools. Mm -hmm. And it depends what what branch it is. I think Catholic schools get the most. Then it's like public schools. Then it gets like you know other 
I think it's like Protestant, like other, other, I don't know much about like religions and how much money, but it's like, it's like a tiering system. So like, for example, a Catholic school gets paid more from the government than like a non-Catholic school. Mm -hmm. So it might be still Christian or Lutheran or whatever, but it's less. So how do you get to decide how much, what students should be paid and what, and what all that shit, you know, for per, so it's like, and, and it's double dipping, right? And you're doubling the resources and it's like, well, Clearly, there is an imbalance here because, like, why is it that they get external funding? They get money from, you know, they get money from tuition fees, and then they get money for from the government Taxpayers. that are basically the same as what we got for private public schools. Mm -hmm. And then they get like extra rallies and you know fundraisers that they can do with parents who you know, pay for a, a swimming pool or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that also a, a big question to bring up with that is if this is coming from the the public dime yeah then what if you are you know you're a protestant and you don't want it going to a catholic school yeah what if you're so you've been restricted so your money has so, been limited yeah. what like, if you're a muslim and it's going to a, you know what i mean because so, yeah. you don't want your st student doing rave you don't want your student doing catholic rage and maybe rage rave so like for that for example it's like cool kids get to have education but why can't i why does it have to be bunkered into a, an area that like they've chosen to do? Yeah. And but then when you look at public schools, right? And see, the problem is the money goes to the schools and not the kid. Yeah. So it's following the schools and not the kid. And then they decide what to do with that money. Right. So the, the, what what should be done, at least I think, just make just go. All right. This is how much is being spent per kid right now. Well, let's reduce that because it's now gonna not going to be spent on school maintenance directly. Make it follow the kid. Now, if you're a parent that lives in this district and you don't want them going to that district, there's a school in that district. They go to this one and the money follows them, which would make the schools all, you know, good very idea. presumably good be idea. like, well, we've got a good music program. If you want to go here, blah, 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 do this. You know, mm. if your yeah, yeah, kid's a sure. little bit illiterate, you come here. and. So it makes it completely fair if you're getting taxed for this and it's going to schools you're against, let's just say you're an atheist and it's going to some public schools and some religious schools, you're like, I don't want this. I'm just going to just have the taxes that you're already getting taxed at. Ideally, I don't know, probably shouldn't happen because if you, I don't know, let's just say you don't want to put your kid into school kind of thing. Mm. Very rare circumstance, but that guy's still going to get taxed. Just have the money follow the kid. Again, not ideal. And then all the money of your solved. kid gets, yeah. So what I was going to say is like, go, let's go back on to the, I was going to talk about the homeschooling. So please don't forget. Um, mm -hmm. But so the, really the, the final, the final, no, no, I think the finalization of what I was, my point I was trying to make is that these, then they can do fundraisers or have donations to the private schools for swimming pools or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that like hundred thousands and they can then, that money can then be offset from their income. And they get like a tax subsidy for it. You can't donate unless I'm completely wrong, but I'm barely sure public schools don't do that sort of stuff. Okay. I could be wrong and I might be speaking my ass, but what public This is why I don't like talking about no, it. No, I know, I know. I don't know no, what but the fuck like I'm talking about. Public schools don't get donations for stuff. M might be the demographic, but it's like <clears throat> Yeah. What do you mean donations for stuff? What are you talking about? As like in like, like physical... here's a new pool from so uh, yeah. Joe Blow. Like they, they don't do, they don't operate in that ma manner. Maybe it's just the culture. Maybe that's not how it works, but it's like public schools don't get donations to build a swimming pool. I feel like they would. I feel oh, like it Julie, might be, it might be you remember Julia Gillard. No, but it might be small things, right? Because, because yeah. you're, you're, you're donating, you're not donating to the school, you're donating to the, 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 the like this education department. So there might be certain things that are full under certain banners. So you can't build buildings, but you can build like a, a, a rose garden or you can build like a, mm. A mural or something like that. Yeah, that I'm can sure be that, part of the, yeah, sure the, a lot the of donations. Rules. Yeah. But when it comes like building like swimming pools or tennis courts or like uh, amenities, then that's like no, nah, you're not allowed because yeah. that's the government. The government can't take much, like donations from. Yeah. We, we, can't, we can't. We can't accept your donations. We'll just take it from you. Yeah. Unwilling. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, um, bud. Cheers, bud. So, <laughs> what I was gonna say is. If you're getting paid, I don't know what the inflation thing is now, but when I looked, that was like eight point seven thousand per student. I'm thinking, I think it looks into high school students. So per you're year, about inflation. you're talking about so, the so price per student. The price schools get paid per student. Right. How about and maybe this is I'll get uh, uh I'll get um I'll I'll get suicided by police for this. I love that. 
<laughs> Have you remember the South Park episode? It's like, freeze. He went, suicide assisted by police. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. That was so good. It's like the coronavirus episode. Oh, are they going yeah. against it in South Park, are they? Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, shit. It's like Randy Marsh, like, has sex with a penguin. <laughs> in China and with Mickey in Mouse. It. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's fucking good. They should and have then, made it Winnie the Pooh. And then... Yeah, William Pooh as well. Yeah, oh, was, was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that's a, and then, that's and a then, big joke towards the And then the he, like, Chinese. he's sick and gives it to everyone. But then he starts... Dude, that's fucking good. And he starts, like, I think it was, like... He, you got to watch it, but I don't want to give too much away. Then he starts nutting in all the weed. Now he, like, sells. Because he has, has a weed farm. What the fuck? He has a weed farm. He starts nutting on all the weed. And then, like, people smoke it, and that's the cure. Oh, my God, dude. That's or, fucking or good. Make... <laughs> that's that's fucking funny, dude. Fuck. But I think was it was... that just one episode? Yeah, mm. yeah. So good. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Um, but if you're getting paid, if the school's getting paid eight grand per student, why can't you get homeschooled? Have a teacher, have ten students. Yeah, let's just say part of the half the, you know, two streets. A couple of you guys have. Kids I would love to do that. Bucket. It's like ten students. In mm-hmm. a classroom, doesn't matter age group, whatever. Yeah, and then one teacher. The one thing I have to say about that is because that's what a lot of people complain about. And look again, this is me speaking out of my ass, but you know we all get a lot of people going like public school teachers are the best. They deserve better. They're pretty good. Um, you know they're getting treated. They're working too hard hours. All this kind of stuff. Mm. Um, you know there should be more. There should be more teachers to the kids kind of thing that should be instead of 30 students to one teacher it should be 20 or 15 or 10 or whatever yeah but the whole thing is the the amount of funding that per student they're getting to the department of education is going up over the years but we're still having the same problems now the question is why yep and i think if you look into it you find out pretty quickly why that is um, <clears throat> and if you ask anyone that's in the department of education that's a teacher then they all quickly tell you, I'm not sure how this is into into uh, overseas um, or internationally, uh, but they all say, oh yeah, all the like degenerates and the shit teachers go to to work for the actual department. So they're what they're the ones paper pushing and working inside. Yeah, and that's the whole joke. A lot of teachers just go, yeah, all the fuck ups and all the people that did something wrong at a school. You know, they cussed out a fucking parent or. You know, they're pissed off the principal. They never get sacked because it's too hard to sack them. They just get pushed into this fucking corner where they all just congregate. And that's why there's probably rules like, no, you can't, you know, we're, we're making boxes to tick. So you can't donate and say, here's a new gymnasium. You can't allow, we can't allow that because, you know, so-and-so, these rules in the department say this and this and this. Bored people. These, to be too strictly clear, um, I don't know how much I want to give away, but... Yeah, we. Uh, I'm very familiar with the Department of Education, right? Internally, right. Um, so that that kind of have you heard that as well? Like yeah. it's like all, all the shit comes well, just fucking rock up in one spot. I mean, to be clear, like so when when Meigs works around her area, the Department of Education mm-hmm. is there, and they always go to lunch. Always right. going to lunch. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's like, and let's be clear, you can go to lunch. Like, you can do the hell you want, but it's like... <laughs> you can go to lunch. You can go to Jeez. lunch, but it's like, that sort of, cu- I guess, that like, as the culture where that it's like... So hang on, what's the problem with that? What are you saying? Are they going for lunch for a bit of two hours instead of they go half an hour kind yeah. of thing? And there's a lot of them. Right. So, look, you can do that, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I and I, I, I'm To be clear, I'm not that person that everyone's got to work 60 hours a week and, you know, and if you don't, you're a bad worker. If but get, there is something to be said that if you are getting paid on taxpayer dime and you're taking two hour lunches, I mean, everyone knows, everyone's seen council workers. But it's always five <clears throat> people standing around and one and person. Look, sometimes, doing the job. and to be, to be the devil's advocate there, sometimes that's the sort of thing. So when I work with Reese, when we did netting, mm-hmm. he's going to be tying something. You can't help him tie. He's yeah. going to get in the way. So he's got to like watch Absol- him and learn, you know? Yep. That's, that is a thing. But but it's just funny that every time you drive past, All there's the time. Yeah. <laughs> some guy in a pit yeah. and yeah. there's like five He's, guys with a shovel. Yeah, standing there every time, and that's just and that is just kind of like government. Like if you if you guys have family, everyone would know this. But if you don't, maybe you're younger and you don't know this that much. Mm. Ask anyone that works for any sort of government, even if they're a teacher and they're kind of or a cop. You know, ask. You know, 
just go, how many people, especially if they're a paper pusher, like they're a paper pusher in the Department of Education, like um, I've got family that kind of do this stuff, whether it's state or federal, just go, how many people do you reckon you could sack? If you were the boss and you could sack from your department or your level, how many people percentage-wise do you reckon you could sack and the job still get done? And I've heard some people in some departments be like 70%. You get rid of 70% of these people with yeah, job gets, some so are like 20%. And I'm like, even that let alone. Let me add that. And I'm like, damn, that's let a me, lot let of me money. add to that, right? So uh, big businesses, and I'm talking, when you say big businesses, you They're look just at the governments. No, I'm saying like you look at governments are the biggest businesses. Like in biggest employer. Biggest employer and whatever. But governments don't operate in a normal fashion. And even in normal corporate jobs, you've got this thing where it's called job protection. So although... It's funny because people know that they're one of that 70%, but they'll do whatever they can to maintain that job, even if they're like, even if there's no direct risk or threat to their job right now, mm -hmm. they'll work as if there is. So they'll be like, oh, I'm super busy, got hit, you know, got gone flat out. Right. And it's like they, they, they join every meeting they can, so they're booked out of meetings all day, but they don't contribute to the meetings. Yeah. Um, they read and it's not really their specialty. Yeah, that is there to exist. You got a lot of, <laughs> they got a lot of management, like a lot of middle management is a thing as well. Yep. Management, and in, in government, you've got, like you've got teams. They might have a team of four, right? So you, or a team of five. So you got like a, a team leader, mm -hmm. and there's four people below them. So they report to the team leader. The team leader reports to management, and the management reports to the executives, and the executives obviously report to the the board. So, but there obviously is more, there could be more levels than that. So if you look at, whereas like for corporate, corporate might have eight to 10 in a team and then they have a team leader. So if you're looking at the four to 10, you're looking at like a, you know, 50% deficiency. So in government, if you've got four people reporting to one person in a team, even though there's like, everyone's doing the same body job. Mm-hmm. It, it, yeah, sh people get bored quickly. People get like make up ideas, do things to protect their job and all yep. that stuff. And that's why I say and, they and come and up and with boxes like, to tick. like teachers, I feel bad for them because like, if you look at it, like, and this is kind of like okay, I don't hate people that work at private schools, like teachers that work at private schools. But it's like, well, they've got the same. They problems. don't have to report to Akara. They like, they have different reporting things to Akara, so right. they can do what the hell they want as long as students have education. Yep. And there's cop outs, right? So like private schools t n notoriously don't have a, they're not a list and i don't want to be that person at just print out of principle to, to make that like thing they're not ableist but they don't have facilities for people with in wheelchairs or people with disabilities so they're the ones that need the money like the extra money mm -hmm. but they don't pay for that because that's not part of their brand gotcha. because a person that's in a wheelchair is not going to help you have get funding from schools for like you know being an intelligent school they're not like, so their ATARs won't be as high because you've got these like, you know, people who need help gotcha. who are going to bring down that norm. And I know it's very bad to say, but that's like the truth of how these businesses operate. Mm -hmm. They're businesses. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and yeah, it might get called out and say, oh, like right now it might get called out and say, well, we have a private school. We do it. Some do. But like, like all businesses, you can separate yourself from the norm and make that an identifier for yourself for, for, um, like an, a, an edge, like a leading edge for so a business. people are attracted to you. Yeah. Whereas government, it's more like, it's the same. This so is you, the way and that's it. So like, I don't, how many private schools can you think of that have like a link, uh, is it called link? Like a link center where it's like people in wheelchairs and like um, disabilities who need SSOs and stuff like that. I how many private schools do you know of? I don't know. Not many. I don't know. I'd assume, I'd assume a manual. You're assuming. Yeah, but I don't know any. I mean, I can think of one primary school, a public school only. Yeah, and that's it. I can't really think of any. But that's that's my point. It's like they 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 go there, they get the funding from the government, and then that that's like that's because no private schools will accept them, um, because they don't have the facilities because they don't have to have that. Mm. Whereas like I don't know about that. But it, it's just like it's it's uh, the, my point. Of, the point I'm trying to make is like they give money to private schools even though the private schools are getting paid money from the government mm -hmm. anyway they get shit loads of grants and funds mm -hmm. but they don't have to go they don't have to do the same level of rigor to get that mm -hmm. like there's no there's no gut like there's like less rigor because they're not that organization they're an external entity gotcha so 
they they re- they're just reporting to another entity as opposed to like reporting to another department within the same organization. Gotcha. So the whole point is like they get they double dip. They they get they get benefits without having to go through the same rigor. Mm-hmm. But they get but then the healthcare argument that I always make is like it makes it seem more attractive, but it's because the government has decided to make it like that. Mm-hmm. It's like well, no shit, private school is better when you're giving them more money mm-hmm. or you're giving them money whilst, you know, allowing them to do what they want. Of course it's going to be better. Yeah, but my point that I made at the start, and I don't disagree. Homeschooling is the way. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, Can, especially throughout the pandemic, are realizing that, yes, there are some people that are kind of nut jobs that do it, but there's also a lot of people who are like, you know what, fuck this. And there's also some people that are just like, why are we teaching kids? Like, I mean, we think this. I'm sure everyone out there can think of at least three things they were taught. They they remember being taught it, don't remember what it was. They've never used it since, and it's just a waste of money. I mm. mean, public or private, just a fucking flat-out waste of money that it was spent to develop that, and that was then taught to most people. It and should be a, like, yeah. homeschooling is much more like, well, you're going to come here. Let's just say it's a group of 10. You're not going to send some guy who's artistically orientated or very much interested in that to some law high school. You know, people that are like, yeah, I'd like to be a lawyer or whatever. If people in high, some high schoolers know they're going to be into a law, being a lawyer, you're not going to you're not going to send them there. So it's just a waste of money on this this the parent who is sending the artistic kid to this home school. To be fucking taught how to be a lawyer when he doesn't want to be a fucking lawyer. Yeah. And there's well, a lot of stuff that's like with maths. Most math shit I used in high school, never used again. A lot of the fucking, you know, and this, I don't need to go into it, but I'm sure some of you guys are like, yeah, but I'm an engineer and I'm an architect. Gotcha, bud. There's other people like you probably don't use drama. Okay. You're not going to use fucking drama anymore. Yeah. There's some stuff it, which is just like, I liked it. Other people didn't, and it's just like mm. I just kind of find it wrong that some people are, you know, being cough up this coin, or else to pay for this thing that you don't agree with. Your kid's not going to use. You know what I mean? Just it's like pre- coercion. It's that thing. It's like I don't want to do it, but I have to. Right. And it's why like, should? And also, I just can't help but think: Why should someone in rural Queensland be forced to pay for my? schooling in south australia we're in different states you know what i mean yeah well, that's a good point right you know like why should this guy who literally has never been to south australia let alone adelaide doesn't have kids yeah especially if he doesn't have kids why should he be forced to pay and then people would go well this is the social good and this is what's good for people and all that kind of shit and it's just like well if that's your argument then where does it stop kind of thing Make him mm. pay everything. He shouldn't get any money. He's got no kids. Yeah. Fuck him. He's got nothing to give on to anyone else, even mm. if he's got a sister. Yeah. He's got, he's got nieces and nephews, whatever. But, you know, it's just, seems to be wrong to me. Like like the thing, no, I, agree I prefer that. the whole opt in, opt out thing. But then everyone's going to go, well, do you really think people are going to volunteer to give It doesn't give matter. If I choose, if, okay, it doesn't matter. Right. I could be happy to re- reduce my voting rounds to voting rounds. To get an opportunity, because to be clear, right this second, if I if there was no capital gains on my crypto right now, I'd be full jumping into that. Fucking a. I'd be jumping into that. Absolutely, and I just I can't. Someone must have crunched the numbers, so this is me speaking out of my ass. But I can't help but think if I was just left tax alone for like ten years and I couldn't vote, just for the sake of simplicity. Let's just say I had the fuel tax, so I'm paying for the roads kind of thing, whatever. If I was just left tax alone for 10 years, I would square myself away, like financially for the rest of my life. And then after that, I'd be like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm good. And this money, like, I'm not someone that's like Scrooge McDuck. There's people out there like that, that are like, now I've got $50 million. I'm going to buy a yacht and this and that. My first thought is like, all right, if I won the Powerball, because what's the stat? It's something like, 80% of people that win like the lotto or the Powerball or whatever, they've broke within two years. Mm. And it's just like, dude, my thought is like, right, time to put this into real estate and, you know, whatever, make a passive income. You know what I mean? Put some into stocks, some into real estate, like yeah. put some into crypto. Like my dumb ass, and I'm not a dumb ass, but I'm like, my dumb ass is like, time to square myself away because I'm good. I, the odds of me winning the Powerball twice, you know, lightning's not going to strike twice kind of thing. I'm like, 
yeah. square my shit away. Look, if I was just left alone tax wise, mm. dude, I'm exactly there with you. If yeah. I was le- there, there, there was no capital gains or there was no income tax, I'd be like, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'm gonna actually try and get a, a six figure job rather than getting forty five percent of it taxed. Kind of, yeah, well, you know what yeah, I mean. No, you're right. And like, thing is, like, so for me, well, like, who I, wants to work for fifty cents on a dollar? Here is after a that great. Point, Unless it's passive. Then it doesn't matter. No, no, I mean, like, after 225000 it's 45 Yeah, but I'm saying if it's passive, like, if you're earning, you know, if you're earning $1,000 a day and you lose half of it, yeah, that sucks, but you didn't do anything to get it, right? That's yeah, my point. So the, you just look at it as earning 500 a day. Yeah, yeah. It's I an get, expense. Yeah. So that's still how, wrong, but I get you. Still wrong. I agree with you. But for me, I'm like, eh. So, so... What I would do if I got the Powerball, I would literally throw all of it into investment. If I were earn twenty million, everything into investment. I've, and I've stewed on this and changed my mind a few times. But I think put everything into investments, and from those investments and from the decisions I've made in my investments and my choices for those investment portfolios is where I would pay for my luxuries. Mm-hmm. And that might sound dumb, but you didn't have that money before. You don't deserve it. You don't. You didn't earn it. So you, now you should earn it. Now you know. You, now you understand the cost of having that money. Now you understand how to earn that money and to have that cash flow. And the thing is, the reason why you do that is you do that first because you've now locked up your money into assets. In you've deliquidated that money. Mm-hmm. So now from those cash flows from that money, you can then save up for a Lamborghini, save up for a seventeen million dollar house. If it takes you three years to just sit on your money and kind of work your nine to five still. Well, yeah, that's it. That's right. Or you can go. Well, I'm I'm out. And just be uh, well, yeah, part time financially or... retire, yeah, and give yourself a cash flow right that is matches your job. But if you do that right, like I'm sure, if you had twenty million, you'd probably no. But if you put if you... nineteen million into right. investments, mm-hmm. and I think you, you know, should I'd probably do, that. do like eighteen out of the twenty, and just and I'm saying, and then and then the other money, it's like, okay, do what you want with it, whatever, burn it, fucking literally burn it. But what you can do is You're now you can that as a it. joke. Please do not. Come no, in and kick that the is a, that is a law that it's against the law, so don't do that. Um, or just don't get caught. Don't do it. Don't get so caught. then you actually earn. And I may, may have financial advisors that disagree. And burn, financial burn experts. gold. <laughs> melt gold. Can you melt gold right near my house? So yeah. like in puddles next to my house. <laughs> I'll go get off my get off my property. You're trespassing. Yeah, but keep leave the gold. I'll I'll deal with that. Yeah, that's right. Scooping up with a fucking shovel. But if you if you do it. That way, now you actually understand that what it, it, it is to earn that, that money, I guess. Because it's like, okay, now I've got to wait two years to buy a Lamborghini because that's how much I get for my cash cash flows. I have to do my cash model and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you get the 20, you buy a $10 million house, you buy 10 supercars, and you're like, all right, I can retire now. Mm-hmm. You're not. You just spent and burnt $15 million in like a year. Mm-hmm. You're not going to make it. I don't know. If you get a good car... And you had a collectible car that's going to be worth more in two years. Yeah, but sure. Like sure. No, but you've, if you just spent fifteen million, yeah, you're I gonna, You're going to be lying to spend that other five. Whereas if you put it all in investments, like you never had it, then you ne- never you never got into that that thought process of like burn, earning that and you spending that much money. Mm-hmm. You might because you've just bought thirty houses, but it's a good amount. If you're making twelve grand a week. From like thirty houses portfolio, mm-hmm. and you just have like a, a property manager like McGain or something like that, um, Barry Plant, Barry Plant. Uh, I think it's Plant because it's Eastern States. Plant. Yeah, I hate it. But anyway, like you get one of those guys to manage your properties across your states or whatever. Even and you can have Airbnb property managers as well for like apartments and stuff. You you don't know the lifestyle of earning twenty being worth twenty million. You're getting cash flow now. That is that. So as your cash flow increases, you can now afford having expensive dinners, having a personal trainer. You can then build more personal portfolios. Chef. You can then build a house because you're getting this cash flow, and you can like save up to get a mortgage for um, a house. And maybe that's not the best way. We've we've discussed on the podcast what we would do if we had that money mm-hmm. and how we'd invest it. And I said I'd put like five million towards like a uh, capital uh, like angel investing so like you know the next the next uber or something like that mm-hmm. but i'd go i'd have to be traveling and like go into those meetings like in like san francisco and stuff like that i could do it on, over on zoom but i need to get into that network yeah but who but, are you trying to sell this to i feel like i'm not trying to sell i'm saying if you won the lottery i'm selling to you if you mm-hmm. won the lottery just 
put it in investments, all of it. Yeah, I'd, pr- I'd like pretty balance, much put all of it. If I went 20, balance I'd your slap fucking, 18 in there, no dramas. Balance your portfolio and just, when I say balance, like you just got plus 20 million, now make it negative 20 million and it goes back to zero. Gotcha. Obviously, if you got 30 grand in your bank, make it back to 30. <laughs> Cause, cause, 31, I'll keep a thousand. Yeah, and look, look, you can put aside a million or whatever to do what you want, but it's like, just put it all in investments. Mm-hmm. You don't need to have investment. Uh, you don't. And the thing is, you've made. You've. When I say you've earned that money, you don't need a financial advisor to manage your account. Mm-hmm. You don't need it. But hang on, hang on. I'm going to push back because I agree with you. But there's going to be some people that just are overwhelmed. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're like, holy. I've told you the steps. But- <laughs> Make the highest bid. Guys, go make the highest bid at every auction on your street. Buy five houses on your street. Just fucking do what you want. Yeah. Just make the highest offer. Just go go around. And if, you, if you're if renting, then that's harder. But if you own a house or you own a mortgage, do that. Do it 30 times. That, that, that like Literally, it's that simple. Get a ComSent pocket account. Put all your money into an ETF. Let's do like literally split share them all just at the same time. Leave it. Yeah. Like it's the, if, you, if you want step-by-step guide, we can do that <laughs> for a small fee for of, zero dollars <laughs> for a small fee of just your time. That's right. No, yeah, I, sorry, I, be I, no, I agree, I agree. I agree. But like, I think there's, it's, it's understandable if some people are like, I'm going to pay off my mortgage. Yeah. They're do like, it. fuck, I'm going to just do it. Pay right off now. debts. That's like, trust the financial that you are saying the optimal choice is invest it. That's not okay. So to to be clear, and I want to be very clear, this is not the best choice. This is not the optimal choice. This is a. I don't. I know you. And but this I'm, again goes back to better for who, optimal for who. If you've got two houses and you're still in off. debt six hundred thousand, you know, obviously the optimal choice for making money would be to invest all of it. But if you were like, you know what, I'm going to invest nineteen million. This six hundred, seven hundred thousand. I'm just gonna pay off my fucking debt. That's investing, though. You're paying off yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, if you looked at, you're like working a nine to five. You're making eighty grand a year, and then now, instead of doing nineteen million, you're doing twenty million, and your passive income is now, you know, three hundred grand a year. Uh, eight, yeah, eight hundred thousand a year or whatever. Yeah, three hundred thousand so a year. Be five percent. It'd be like a million a year. You'd make pa- a passive income at five percent. Sure, but like, you know, you're like, well. You got the choice between eighteen and nineteen and twenty. Some people would go, you know what? I'm good with my mortgage. I don't, I actually like my job. I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna pay this off like quicker, but I'm not gonna slap it. And some people are just gonna go fucking fang that, fucking done. Yeah. Your sister struggling. Give her two hundred thousand. You know, kind of thing like that. I'd be fine with that. I'd be like whatever. Yeah. But you are right, obviously, which is if you want the most money. Invest all of it. Yeah, and, and the reason is, and this is not the best choice, and and you can do what you want with your money. But if I was like, if I if if I if I someone asked me, this is like you have to do it this way. You can't do it any other way. Like if yeah. you do, you're a fucking moron. I, I'd be much more with you. I'm like, dude, just do invest it. Invest pretty much all of this. Yeah, pretty much all of it. If it, you really it, need it, to, it is no it's problem. a snowball effect because the more you okay, you're gonna if you don't invest any, you go, oh, I might invest a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Like. It's not the optimum way. At least, at it's least not, half of it, dude. It's not the optimum way, but it's like, this is, I know you. I don't know you, but I know you. And I don't trust you with your money. <laughs> like, I, that makes sense. Like, just invest all of it. And yeah. then you go, okay, I have no money now. Like, you don't have money, but you have a cash flow now. Mm-hmm. So you can go, how can I live off of per week or per month, depending on how things pay off, 12 grand a month. How can I, how can I live off that? Yeah. Nothing happens. You might have an apartment in every single major city that you're around your area Th- that's being rented through Airbnb, paid off. Mm-hmm. That's cash flow. You, and, you, and if you need to go to that city, you can go live, like, go there. I think you've sold it. I think I, I think I have, but it's like, it's just like, I don't need it if you want to buy luxury stuff, buy a $15 million house. Look, like I said, if your $20 million portfolio Amazon. is increased by 5% a year, that's a million dollars a year before tax you are making. Coin. Passively. A lot of coin. Passively. So if you want to build a $5 million house or a $10 million house, you can work 10 years towards that to get a house that's as big as Zed's house or, you know, whatever rock star, movie star, whatever, 
it's pretty expensive in Australia to have a $10 million house. Not in Sydney. That's like a fucking pebble. But <laughs> like... Which is yeah. a new Amazon show. There's some Amazon oh, show about there? like luxury homes and there's these three oh, real I love agents. luxury homes, fam. And they're all just like, I don't know. It just seems but, like a wank fest to me. But, but, but it's like at least you can earn it and you go, okay, then you actually have like concept of how like... Because you, cause you have to afford that new house, right? You can't just be like, oh, I've got this money. Like you have to like budget learn to budget again which is, I think is the important part I agree who are you selling this to you everyone sold I've got it um off topic changing off. a topic go for it here we go I said last week uh, we talked about it very briefly downstairs last week I said alarms yeah how's that going I don't admit to so I'm so going- for those that don't know Rag sets too many alarms. Yeah, so my, my plan is that I want to wake up at 6 in the morning, every morning. But I'm tying that with wanting to get 8 hours sleep. But the pushback on that, Tim, can you unlock that bad boy? How do I do it? Just press the start-stop button on the record. Just press it once. Yep. So, so, so I think once, like, when the, when the person's talking, like, the other person goes up and does it, I think, probably the best way. Yeah. Um, so I'm battling wanting eight hours sleep, but also wanting six in the morning. And the reason why I want to do six in the morning is because I want to dawdle. I need to dawdle. I need to feel like I can do something in the morning and not time. just rush. That's right. I've got time. I can, oh, you know, fluff about, f- fuck around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fluff about, um, read a book and all that stuff. So that's what, that's why I want to wake up at six. I want eight hours of sleep because that's good for my memory. It's good for many things. Good for my testosterone. Good for my having children. My future kidly winks. My future kidly winks. Not aging. Not getting having heart stroke. Not getting having hypertension. Just take us on this. It's good for you. It's good for you. Do it or don't, motherfucker. Now the pushback is I get. I'm an. I'm not a morning person, so it's hard for me to wake up at six, and it's a really hard thing to adjust. I have night revenge where I feel like I don't have enough, have done enough during the day. So I want to do stuff at night and that just defaults to playing League of Legends or something like Destiny or something like that. Tender Silver 4. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm battling with. And then what I'm trying to battle that with is with alarms. Now I've set too many and I think for me, I've set too many. So when I'm in my sleeping state, when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I'll just let the, wait for the next one. And then that's the problem. And the reason is, is because I, I like push myself back into stage three, like sleep. So when I wake up to the second alarm, which is, you know, 10 minutes later, I think I could just snooze it. I think mm-hmm. snoozing's not great, but how many alarms do you have at the moment? He's getting his phone. He's going to check 10. Do you have 10, like every 10 minutes? Six, six, 11, six, 20, six, 30, six, 32, six, 47 AM. So that's like a good six alarms. Seven. Seven alarms. And so... so Cut them out. Yeah, yeah. So Make it two alarms. It's not good. I need to have it at like or six. One. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, and the issue is because I'm going back into that, you know, deep sleep. So when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I feel really bad. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. But I really value that morning stuff. But because my brain's so monkey, big monkey at the it morning. It feels so good to be up like... Just when the sun's up or just before the sun's up. Yeah, or it's just when you just hear coming. the birds calling and stuff. It's really nice. Yep. And you're like, nice. No cars. You're chilling. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Well, do that. Do that right now. Get your phone. Six o'clock. What about you? For my alarms. No, like, what about you? What are you working on? Because we, we... I know. Talk- we talk about you a lot, don't we? Yeah, but I'm a broken, like, mess. mess. Jinx under a roof. Do six and do... I would do, like, 609 and 611. All right. Just do those three, and then you know, bang, actually, that's an alarm. Oh, I'm awake, full of sleep. There's an alarm. Oh, I'm getting up, full of sleep, and then you get up. you got to make it three, and then eventually you want to get it to one. Yeah, yeah, but, I agree with that. But for now, I'll just do that. Yeah, I'm just letting my like, random like 938 alarms and stuff like that. Well, you have a fucking red code red, so when do you have to be up? 8.55, do that one or something. Yeah, well, the thing is now, I'm starting work, and I, my work starts at 8. Well, 7.55, so you can run and turn your computer on. and. 
Yeah, did, when just that do happens, 753 or something. When like that, that happens, it hurts when it's like that like little time between my finishing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I would love to, before we, I think I think that alarm was a that precursor was that's like a 20 minute timer or 10, 10 minute, minute timer. So we've got five minutes. So I'd love to end on this. Um, I think we've been quite positive about today. I think we've been quite positive today. Um, what I would like to talk about before you go, unless you got something. No, no. No, I'm just running for next week. Cool, thanks. Check up on you, motherfucker. Let's, what I want to do, Tim, is, and, yep. and, and I truly believe this. Let's hear it. If you move here. Uh-huh. You move, the, you join. What you, do you mean if? When? When? This becomes boot camp, and I've got, we've had this list for 10 more months. So, we can work on each other. Mm -hmm. We can, um... This is keeping each other accountable. Accountability. So, I'm, ladies and gentlemen, may, maybe this will inspire you, but I don't know what Rags is about to say. This is what my plan is. 10 months. 10-month boot camp. Work on that sleep. Work on the diets. Work on the working out. Start your business of PT. We work you out with your business. Get your business started. That will be a snow, like a domino effect for me. We can then also potentially increase the show to two times a week because... It's easy to have a show when you're just one bedroom away, you know? <laughs> or zero for, in my case. That's right. You just <laughs> sleep underneath the lamp. Yeah. Yeah. For those that don't know, this is the second bedroom of the place. Yeah, the second bedroom. lives alone, so. Yeah. So, or one, or we could turn that room into the bigger room and then just, just fucking sleep in one of these. Just have a bed in here. Yeah, you know? True. Yeah. And we sleep together. Well, you we could just have like two rooms. <laughs> you could have two rooms and that, and then like have the show on that wall and the computers on that wall. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, two shows a week. Good point. I don't think shows are hard to have. I think this is like the most, most enjoyable part of the, my week, yeah. if I'm modest. Is when you see a big old Timbo. Timbo. And then another thing we could oh, do. Oh, the thing, sorry, real quick. Don't forget, we've got a good five minutes. The thing I'm working on is uh, I'm fat. i got to lose some weight. Good. Oh, and by the way, Full transparency, I don't really find it that hard to lose weight. Um, I'm very much easier at blowing up than I am losing weight, but um, I, I'm not a big... Hang on, get the other arm, the other arm. The weaker arm? Bang! <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm zooming in. Oh. Hang on. Bang. Oh, tiny muscles, man. Look at that. Big man. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I put on a bit too many. Um, I'm, I'm already a big guy. I'm like 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, I'm about 110 kilos. Yeah. I'm a chubster. Yeah. Um, I've got a photo of me um, where I was like fucking shredded for not good reasons. Not like mental shit, but like um, f physical stuff. Won't bother getting into it. I've got into it before. Anyway, I was like shredded as fuck. I was like lean, bean, abs fucking diced. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so I would have been like, I would have guessed. 11% body fat, something like that. Fuck, nice. A anyway, I was like 80, I think I was like 84 kilos. Mm. It's still at my height. So I was fucking, anyway, I lost a lot of my muscle because I lost the weight so quickly. Um, anyway, so I reckon I could easily lose a good 20 kilos. Yeah. I'm working on, I don't know now because like I don't like shitting as much as I do and I don't have a bidet so I'm straightening up my asshole because I'm eating that much so I'm just shitting so much <laughs> and it's not, I don't enjoy it like so I want to like that's like the whole reason why I'm like want to cut back and just be like alright I'm just going to work on getting cut yeah and I really enjoy shitting I don't I just don't like wiping I love it I so mean I, I don't just like wipe wiping. anymore I have a fudgy but, bum but, well maybe you got to spread your cheeks more I think that's the problem. Maybe you just actually like. But I need a bidet. I think I want a bidet down. though. Like just like and 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 people that go bidets are weird. It's like you're you're you're, you're homo man. You have to be, you have to be homo to be like hate like water. <laughs> Wouldn't you say the other way around? No, it's like no, but it's like you must be like it's like the people like like hate gay people. It's like well, you must be gay if you hate gay people. There, right? there is some truth to that. A like lot of surely, that, yeah, yeah. There is that. There is like a cycle. If gay people thing. really upset you that much, you must be gay. All the people that I, that I know that like literally harass gay people online were actually gay. Yeah. Like from school. It yeah. is the funniest thing. Yeah. It's not funny for them, but it's funny to, it's kind to of, observe. It's funny to observe. It's sad for them. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, get a fucking potato. Try spreading your ass cheeks. Dude, I spread them, man. I even shave my cheeks so like less, have less dingleberries. <sighs> not too much. Sounds I'm like, like you've got some shit problems. Sounds like what you're eating is a I'm eating too much. Is it too much or what you're eating? I think it's too much. 
We'll see about that. Well, when you live here, we'll that's right. That. I'll be like, so, put the music bar down, motherfucker. That's so not yeah. helping. Um, you just have a steak. So that's right. And then the other things, other couple of things, is like accountability. I think it'll be quality of life will increase. We have, and to be clear, Tim will be moving here. I guess to sleep into whatever, but he won't move all his shit because I, I, as long as your parents are fine with that, I'm sure they would be. I'll be in two places at once. Yeah, yeah. But you, like, live here, but then, like, you'd also go on the weekends and so whatever you want. But your computer will be here. So yeah. if your computer's here, you, you live here. Like, because... Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. So, so, so and then the, the good thing is, and then we can do, like, your YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. We've got three minutes. Your YouTube channel, you can, like, we can do, like, YouTube reviews. So, like, you can edit and you can get help with editing and then we can review it downstairs on the TV mm-hmm. and watch it before it goes live. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing. The big view. And I love that. I would love to have, like, that with my, like, like in general. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good thing to have, like, a quality check. Mm-hmm. More shows, good quality of life. This is good for you, good for us. And Tim... There's just things to sort out behind the scenes. Yeah, and that's this is the behind the scenes thing. And then I think the thing we work on and make a little side hustle is that... F- focusing on making ten dollars, and then you, and you ten. T- we didn't cover that this episode, but yeah. you, we spoke about it before the show. It's like you focus on making ten bucks, and if you can do that, do what you're doing, but then in- scale it by ten. And if you can, and you might have to add a few things in here and there to make it make you be able to earn a hundred bucks, mm-hmm. and then you times that by ten, and now you're earning a thousand bucks. That's 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 competing with your typical income. And then now sure. you once you figure that out. You times that by 10. I think I'm not sure if it was Jordan Belfort, but I would love to like do the correct quote. And now you're earning 10 grand. Yeah. He's the Wolf of Wall Street. For those 10 grand know. a week. You Which go, I need to watch that movie. Yeah. And way. it might be 10 grand a week, might be 10 grand a month, maybe 10 grand a year, depending on how you want to point that. And that's typical what you see from YouTube channels, right? You make like 10 bucks and then you just see them like scale it over time and they get editors and producers or whatever. Mm-hmm. They increase the amount of shows they do a week and they scale because a lot of issues are scaling issues. But over time, you, they, you know, maybe it's maybe it's, it doesn't have to be money related. It could be ten subs, then to a hundred subs, then a thousand, and all you, and then obviously the amount of time it takes for you to get one to ten, it's like pretty similar to ten to a hundred, then one hundred to a thousand, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'd love to focus on if you were here. Mm-hmm. It'll be focused on. Not as it'll be not as focused, but it will still be done. Mm. If both of us, if we, if I don't come, but I agree it would be better. Yeah. You know, and the difference will be, it's probably just going to just be a whiteboard on the wall. that will say, don't be lazy cunts. Yeah. And then be like, it'll all be, right, fair enough. It'll be a uh, do push ups in the morning. Yeah. Every fucking time we both wake up at six. We could put it like, we could put the whiteboard there. Or something. I, don't, I don't know. Well, we can figure out it. Anyway. The, above there. Like on the, the wall, on the big wall. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor. We'll sort it out. We'll Don't sort it out. It. We'll see you guys next, next week. Next week. Um, it's been episode 18. Has it? I think so. There you go. It's been 18. Funny if it's not. Hello, Dale and Michael. Uh, we, I think you guys just started watching. So, how are you going? Uh, and the guys from uh, Jamaica, New York. Well, good. In well, Arizona. Hello, hello. And uh, France, I think, as well. Well, well, damn. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. If you've made it this far, make sure you. Type double adapter in the comments. Double adapter. Yeah. Don't forget it. All right, motherfuckers. Have a good one. Double deuces. Be good.